years. He's 80 years old. That dude is not walking out of prison, bro. And that's basically the rest of his life. They basically gave him a death sentence, basically. You know what I mean? This thing basically, basically ended his life. What's good, Kenfo? So I just finished watching um, just a few videos, just trying to get up to date on what's going on in the media right now. And it's kind of crazy, bro. I'm not gonna lie. But, you know, I feel like you can't catch no no W for too long. That's what it's looking like right now. You know? And I thought Philly was really doing their thing. You know what I mean? Like, one, they, um, they won the Super Bowl this year. So that was huge, right? Um, six is on the finals, and they're doing their thing right now. That's huge. Shoot, they probably have a good shot. At, I mean, well, they're not in the finals, but they're in the playoffs, and they're doing their thing. And who knows? They might go to the finals. Because right now, I mean, Cavs ain't really looking too hot. And, you know, I can see I can see the Sixers doing their thing and get to the finals. I can I can see that. Um, and, uh, and then Meek Mills just got out of jail this week. You know what I mean? He got got out of, you know, on bail, whatever, this week, so I'm like, yo, Philly is taking some W's right now, and I'm like, yeah, this is, this is really their year, and then I get on the phone, and I'm talking to somebody, and then they just randomly bring up this dude, Bill Cosby, and he's like, yeah, you know, Bill, he got, he got, um, he got convicted, and they found him guilty, I'm like, I'm like, Bill? Bill Clinton? I mean, not Bill Clinton. I'm Bill Cosby. I'm bugging. When I said Bill Clinton earlier. I mean Bill Cosby. So I'm talking about like Bill Cosby? I'm like, I'm like, for what? What, what? what do you do now? I'm thinking this is something different because I thought the last situation was like out the window like a year ago or whatever. And you're like, nah, they brought it back. There's some new chick, I think, that came out of nowhere, and, you know? And they went with her case and it, it was strong enough for them to, to go with it. And... I'm just like, wow, because in my head, I'm thinking like, yo, how, how is this like, like, how did they find, like, what evidence did they use from over a decade ago to like convict them? And I've just been listening to like conversations online and, you know, different videos and stuff. And there's this one video that stood out. Like, I didn't hear Bill Cosby say it out of his mouth, but I guess they, they have it, like, recorded somehow, whether it's verbal or written down. Um, I guess from some interview that he's done, stating that he would casually, back in the day, back in the day, casually, he'll offer people, you know, you offer someone something to drink, that's a guest in your home. So he'll casually offer someone, not like, you know, like wine, but casually he'll offer them um, this drug called Quaaludes. I don't know if you ever heard of Quaaludes, but if you want to have, I don't know the, the scientific um, description of Quaaludes, but I have a decent idea what Quaaludes are thanks to a movie called Wolf of Wall Street. And if you haven't seen Wolf of Wall Street, it's, it's a funny movie. They got some it has some dark moments in it, but it's a funny movie. Um, and the main character in that movie, he was using Quaaludes. And I don't think Quaaludes is popular anymore. I don't think they even make those anymore. But it was like a popular drug that you was able to get, I think, like over the counter, I think it was. Um, and people used to take that and it would like numb your body up. You know, I, mean, I think it was like some Novocaine type of thing. I don't know. Um, you can Google it, you know, Quaaludes. But anyway, he would offer these women quaaludes, um, like, casually, like, with their drinks. And, um, and from his perspective, he was saying that he never slipped it in their drink without them knowing. He never did it without them knowing. Um, I haven't looked too much further into it to see a woman's response to that statement as far as 
them um, actually saying, yes, I would like this, this Quaalude and I'll take it with my drink and relax. Um, I don't know if they said yes, that they wanted to have, you know, intercourse at the time. Um, maybe they said yes to the Quaaludes, but didn't say yes to, you know, intercourse. And maybe that's the issue that happened. You know what I mean? Or maybe they didn't say yes to either of them and he is making up the idea that he offered it. Um, so I don't know about that. But what I do know is that this is definitely a, a, a L. Definitely an L. And I mean, I, I was going to make this video to be funny. Like, yeah, this is like, a, you know, Meek Mill comes out of prison and then you got another Philly dude Bill Cosby going into prison. It's like they traded out Meek for Bill Cosby. You know what I mean? They just made a trade. Like, I mean, we just had the NFL draft today. Or was it yesterday? I can't remember. I think it was today. NFL draft. So, you know, you know, the jail drafted Meek for... But not funny? Nah, not funny? Yeah. It's probably not funny. Nah, but on a serious note, though, I know normally I like to make funny videos, but on a serious note... That shit is messed up, bro. It's messed up. You know? I mean, it's messed up for the... I mean, if it is real, if it is true, if he was doing it and he was doing it the wrong way, which I don't even... I don't even know if there's a right way to do that. But if he was slipping drinks to females without their consent, like, like slipping in quaaludes or whatever, without their consent, and then having intercourse... Um, it's a bad way to go, man. It's a bad way to go. And I, I guess he probably thought maybe back then, um, actually, I can't even say like technology wasn't that advanced for people to catch up with him because that was like 2005, 2004. Like, I mean, 2005, like Facebook was around 2004. That was back when Facebook just started. So, I mean, the internet was was popping around that time that was back when, when when myspace you know when 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 tom was your was your day one on myspace y'all remember tom right nah nah if you don't remember tom then you shouldn't be watching this video you're too old to be watching this video I mean, you're too young to be watching this video if you don't remember tom tom was my day one myspace you know that was back when you was trying to get girls from myspace to my place you know what i mean but anyway um I'm not trying to make this video too long. I just wanted to just point that out there that just my thoughts on it. I was like, damn, that was kind of crazy. I didn't think that um, Bill had it in him like that. You know what I mean? Mr. Huxtable, he was like, like, he was like everyone's dad, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mr. Huxtable was like your dad. If you didn't have a dad, he was like your dad. I mean, I had a dad, um, you know, for the first half of my life, I say. Um, nah, I mean, he's still around. I just don't talk to him as much. But, um, yeah, for, for anybody who didn't have a dad, I would say if he was watching that show, he was basically like your dad, bro. And I learned a lot of stuff from that show, too, you know? And, um, you know? And obviously, it's just a show, but still, the show had to come from somewhere. The ideas, the morals, the values had to come from somewhere, you know? And I'm, I know he had a big part in that show, so it just, it just sucks that the media right now, they are really... It's one thing that they're like, all right, he messed up. You know, it's one thing to be like, all right, he messed up. You know, and now he's going to jail. And it sounds like he he's going to be doing like over a decade if he goes. You know what I mean? Well, it looks like he is going. So it's not like he's going to be doing over a decade. The dude's 80 years old. Like, I can't really see him coming out, coming out of there alive. You know what I mean? Which is sad. But like, the media is like not only trying to be like, yeah, he's going to jail, but they're, like, trying to, like, really tarnish, like, like, yeah, like, now is the end of his legacy, and no more, you know, American dad, you know, the, the face of, you know, American dad sit sitcoms, and it's, it's almost as if they're happy, you know what I mean, that, not so much happy that he's, that he got caught, I guess, if, if you can say he got caught, I don't really know exactly how they convicted him, um, what was, what was the deciding factor, but I feel like, I feel like the media is like, kind of like, really going in on my man, like, as if they're just trying to discredit everything he's done, 
up until this point, which I don't think that's, I don't think that's fair. I mean, what he's done in his personal life, all right. I mean, you can point that out, but don't try and discredit, like, um, I guess what people were calling, like, his legacy. I don't think that's right, you know what I mean? Uh, Because during that time when he was making those shows, um, it had a very positive impact on a lot of people that watch the shows from all races that watch the show. So I don't really think that it's cool to just discredit and just completely, you know, shove out the way those things, um, the charities that he's done and you know what I mean? And just he, the image that he represented at that time, um, just because, you know, in real life, he did some dirt bag kind of stuff. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? So I think the media is really, really good at, are really uh, explosive at trying to um, expose people who have a great image. Like at the end of the day, he's still a human being, bro. Like he's human. He's gonna make mistakes. Nobody's perfect, bro. You know what I mean? I think the people that have the most perfect images, most of the time, <laughs> they might have like the d- darkest secrets. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, I mean, you can't be surprised when your when your hero does some crazy stuff. You know what I mean? On, on the on the down low. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say, man. I thought it was crazy, man. I mean, you know what I mean? Prayers go out to, you know, Bill Cosby's family. I mean, shit, prayers go out to Bill himself, man, because the way it sounds, again, like, it doesn't sound like he's going to be getting out, you know. I don't think he's going to be walking out of prison. You know what I mean? They're talking about maybe 30 years, up to 30 years. He's 80 years old. That dude is now walking out of prison, bro. And that's basically the rest of his life. They basically gave him a death sentence, basically. You know what I mean? This thing basically, basically ended his life. That's how I'm, that's how I look at it. It basically ended his life. He's like, you know what I mean? Like, these women are still alive. You know what I mean? They waited all this time. I don't know why they waited so long, but his life is basically over. You know what I mean? Even though the last year or two, was still kind of like crazy for him because of just the accusations alone was painful enough but now his life is basically done like so it just kind of sucks when you think about it like that but I don't know man if there's if there's any links or any um because this is a this is an interesting case if there's any links or any um I'd say any information that you guys know about uh, about the case as far as um how they decided to convict them of it, like whose testimonial it was, and what was the clear-cut evidence that caused him to be guilty now. Um, share that below. I'll, I'll definitely read it. I'll look into it. I'll click on the link or whatever. I'm interested to find out more about it because I just think it's, based on the information I have so far, um, it just sounds like, damn, it's kind of messed up. Um, not saying that what he did was okay, but I, I still understand how it was able to link things that happened over a decade ago, you know, to this. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, so just leave any comments below on that. Um, if you watch a video, yeah. And um, stay tuned for the next video.